Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and uh, I'm gonna just show you real quick uh, how to get uh, fast cast speed in Tap Wizard RPG Arcane Quest. So, uh, if you're starting to the game or maybe you've been playing for a while, uh, you've been watching some videos and you're wondering like, how are they casting so quickly and I'm super slow. So, here's the gist of it. Uh, you will go in the option, so press on the bag at the bottom right. Actually, you can press anywhere uh, on the bottom icons. Uh, just press on the gear at the bottom left. Now uh, you got the options and more in the middle. Uh, press on this. Press on the second gear, the green one. Oh, sorry, no, it's the third one. So it's like a red. Uh, gray red ish one so you see in analy analytics uh, the last one is called tm lags er so uh, you should set it to 10 levels mine is set to 9 because i am pretty far in the game and uh, because i have a bunch of uh, cast speed from my passives i'm able to i had to bring it down to 9 so you press it and then like yours is gonna be like yours is gonna be this is the default one it's off so tm lags er will be off for you if you've never played with that and you will go and do plus one until it reaches lags by 10 levels press somewhere else on the screen and then it's set what this does, I'll set it back to mine for me. What this does is, uh, if you go press on the question mark, you press in info and help, the third one, you see the library. Okay, there it is. If you scroll, okay, TM is tampered magic, ER is expedient uh, recitation. So as you can see, ER, increase your cast speed by a ton so for me it's uh, 5.35 times uh, the no normal speed but the thing is TM lags ER meaning it will be like mine is level is uh, level 3 my ER is level 12 and I have a TM's lag ER of, of 9 so that's why uh, ER is 12 and TM is 3 so uh, when it's set to zero, your TM will be the same level as your ER and your cast speed will be terrible, like super slow. Um, so yeah, this you get more damage, but your cast speed is slower. Uh, so to, to, to research them, after that, uh, well, you can see ER is there, the middle one, but you will have to complete one research in the academy and then uh, um, what's called uh, TM lags ER so basically uh, you're gonna be able to uh, level ER and uh, tampered magic will not appear in the academy for a while until it's like 10 levels below ER and then you uh, gonna keep on you're gonna start to level it but it's always gonna be 10 levels uh, below ER well the, uh, whatever amount of levels you set it in the options and this makes it so you cast super quick. Um, okay, uh, what can you, okay, if you go on, this is your menu, uh, press on your bag. You press on the, like the scroll to the left of my golden key above the bag. This is your over, the overview of your stats. Uh, if you press that page, Actually, just from this page, you, you can see, like, I have some fire cast rate, only 22%, ice cast rate, 26%, and light cast rate is 31%. That's out of my spell passives. Uh, it's not much compared to how much ER actually gives you. And uh, you can see, if you press the page, there are the spell bonuses. You can see the cast speed. Uh, I'm using uh, mostly light. Light is my uh, offense spells. Uh, prefer uh, Voltaic Orb with Spark. 
So you can see my voltaic orb is 437% caspeed above, like plus. So like I have normal, it's like, let's say it's 100% the normal one. Well, I have plus 437%. That's why it's crazy. And when you press against again the page, it's it shows you the cast speed for the spells you're actually using in your loadout. Uh, you can boost your cast speed with uh, temp like temporary boost it using uh, uh, stable runes. So this is a quality three. It's 45% cast speed for um, for five minutes. If you use a quality four rune, uh, it will be. 55% so this was 45 this is for 55 and uh, if you use a quality uh, where is it okay if you use a quality 5 it's going to be 65% but when you use one of these I'll just uh, show you I'll use a bad one 35% you see it gets applied to uh, one of your spell uh, one of the between slot one and five uh, randomly and uh, if I, this is the maximum you can have you cannot have more than this uh, you can see my second spell already has like the see like a cursor like an aim uh, like a target this is a 50% damage increase out of uh, out of this here this bravery increase my spell damage by 50% this is one of the that we unlock next it's uh, increase the cast speed of the spell and the fifth uh, loadout but to get these things if you started the game this you will get like much later uh, you need to meditate uh, four time to unlock the, the fourth one here uh, or if you go the tower right you need to meditate twice and uh, this one, the second one, will be 50% cast rate on the third uh, spell slot. And uh, it's up 29 seconds, it's down 1 second, and then it's back up 29 seconds. So it's it's up 20, 29 seconds out of 30. Uh, other things... I can show you guys... Uh, okay, when you have a buff, uh, you know, I applied the buff to my spells. Um, it will not reflect, like it will not change the cooldown on your spells. Uh, it will, like, even if I have my buffs up, it will stay 0 0.1 second for this one. Uh, it, it's not reflected on the, like, the tooltip. Uh, also, uh, it's really important for you to uh, stack your passives. You see on the right. Of each spell, there's there are passives, and you don't need to have those spells equipped to earn those passives. So you need to go through all your spells, and uh, you need to level those passives depending on which spells, which element you're going to be using, and uh, just play around with spells and like uh, try to. You, know, you don't have to like have the best or the, what does the most damage. Just use what you you like if been playing games before and oh, you just like uh, chain lightning well chain lightning ju actually got buffed you can just decide to use chain lightning just use whatever you uh, you like really early on and then if you want to min max well check some of my videos and uh, I'll, I'll let you know what uh, what the best setups are um, so yeah also spark spark uh, is a really nice spell it makes it so the spell to well initially it's any random spell uh, will uh, get its cooldown reduced by one second but when you get the first segmentation it says spark always reduce the cooldown of the spell equipped to the left of it and it reduced the cooldown by one second and this effect can trigger three times per second that is why my cooldown it at, is at uh, 0 0.35 uh, second um, <clears throat> you should have it between 0 0.25, uh, did I say 0 0.25? It's 0 0.35 second, but you should have a cooldown of 0 0.25 second to about uh, 
like 0 0.35 second what I have now <clears throat> because uh, well closer to 0.25 second you'll have better odds to reach that uh, th three time uh, per second limit uh, the spell to the left of it is voltaic orb and the cooldown is 0 0.95 seconds so you want the spell to be as close to one second as possible actually if it, that's if it's too fast you might want to increase your tm lags er a bit to play around with it uh, i'm talking about more advanced stuff now so if you're a beginner uh, just stick to what i've said earlier but uh, i mean if you keep on watching the video it uh, gives you uh, tricks for later on but uh, if you're fortunate enough to have spark early on well you're gonna have to uh, increase your tm lags er uh, because uh, i mean it's amazing when i started i had the tm lags er of 25 but like just a warning if you increase it too much and you don't use spells that bypasses enemy armor well you're not gonna do much damage or any damage to the monsters because uh, if in the options you have the armor shown above the enemies uh, it's the blue bar the more the, the the bigger their blue bar is the more armor they have and the more armor they have the less damage they will take from your spells if they don't bypass armor so uh, the faster you cast the, the smaller uh, the, the smaller the damage is per hit so they will just completely negate the damage and then regenerate their health this monster is uh, annoying it's a monster in the uh, new game plus i i completed zone 100 and this is a new game plus i'm on my second meditation and, uh, anyways the monster you need to get out of the uh, green circle uh, or you can't cast spells that's why i have to use uh, static leap that's the way i handle it uh, and static leap actually works really well with the range spells with voltaic orb uh, yeah. so er right there leveling that uh, so yeah spark is godly i'm using it for my uh, it's called ice wall to have uh, nine walls up at the same time to get 50% damage reduction and uh, just to have a bunch of voltaic or proc like uh, being cast uh, I only have two spark you could uh, each one uh, work independently so as you can see just look at the second and the fourth spell the voltaic orb and the ice wall you can see their cooldown are being uh, Sometimes it just it does like three times per second on each one of them. Anyways, uh, so that's for Spark. Uh, what else could I talk about? Really, are there are there any buff here? Uh, like I don't even use these buffs. Well, I guess I use. And most of these buffs you can uh, have from uh, by using certain spells. Yeah, there's only this one. 1.25 time your cast speed, but this one is epiphany and <laughs> it costs so so much insight. I never used it, but if you you're stuck somewhere and you're, you just need that bit, like that extra bit, or and you don't want to use like stable runes to heal yourself and stuff like that, I guess you can just use epiphany to heal, uh, defeat like zone 100, let's say. Um, beside that, so yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I guess I had to have a limit, but you can only have these these stable runes like that you use like quality two or quality five of them. You can only have three up at the same time running on uh, each spell. So yeah, you can yeah you can see the the rune, the unstable runes that I'm picking up. There's one that always pops up and does mi minus one second to your uh, to your spells. Uh, I mean, early on it's it's nice to use and uh, speed up your progress, but later on, it's, I mean, it's just it's not worth using. And 
If you do use it, it, it will boost your damage by a bit, but I mean, it's... <laughs> like, look at my playtime. I've been playing for so long. I mean, my active time is not true active time because I've been using uh, tricks to uh, farm uh, spell XP while sleeping or while being away. But uh, I've been playing for a long time. So, I started playing this game uh, over three months ago, I believe. Actually, no, it, it's been about three months. Well, actually, it's been over three months. It's just that... Uh, mm. I don't know, I thought it was, it's was. it been over three months, but it says in those stats that uh, it's a bit less. Anyways, uh, what else could I say about... Uh, oh yes, uh, cast speed, uh, when you run dungeons, there's always buffs on the side. Okay, um, you can see on the level one of this dungeon, if I open it, my third and fifth spell will have its cooldown uh, uh, reduced like yeah, I'm gonna cast faster for these spells and on the third level uh, my fire spells will cast faster I think it's like uh, it could be like 50% yeah 50% cast speed for spells and loadout 3 and 5 uh, and only 30% cast speed for fire spells so yeah um, but the, the, the biggest thing about cast speed is really all about uh, TM lags ER. It's just gonna make the, the biggest difference because you can straight out, straight up like uh, set that. And well, if you start the game, it's gonna take a while. You need to farm that gold to level uh, ER. But uh, yeah, and this is if you want to read the text. Uh, this option lets you set how much tempered magic, TM, lags, expedient resistation, ER. This option does not change the research levels of these projects. All it does is set when TM will appear in the academy. For example, suppose you have TM and ER at level 10 and choose a lag of 5. In this case, TM will not appear in the academy until ER is at level 16. So yeah. That's... Uh, it's really important uh, to have a fast cast speed. Uh, there, there's ways to play with uh, like TM lag ER off. Uh, I mean, if you want to do a build that doesn't bypass enemy armor, like these spells, like mo most of the spells don't even bypass enemy armor. So I would not use Park if you played super slow. Uh, you could do something with uh, the elementals. Uh, uh, yeah, you could do something with the elementals and then the assistant. She cast a at level two. She cast a random spell from your loadout every five seconds. So, uh, well, he cast uh, spells in the fifth loadout at half the speed. But you could have uh, all three uh, elements, elementals, like fire elemental, uh, oops, frost elemental, and lightning elemental. You see their base cooldown is 30 seconds. Was it 30? Yeah, it's 30 for all. Yeah. So, and then that's, well, you could, maybe you have two, maybe you have all five slots that are elementals and, uh, she, she cast one of them every five seconds. Uh, then she, she, would help, she would be helping you to cast a lot of them. Uh, and then you can also use... Uh, I've been sacrificing them in the cauldron. could use a summoner's link to increase the duration of your summons and build up an army. But I mean, that's not uh, something you can sustain for long because you would be using your... Um, Stable runes. Wow, am I still stuck there? All this time. Let's just burn through this. I don't know, I have a... Uh, I'm killing myself. Oh, I'm dying. Got to get the ice wall up for damage mitigation. I need to... Uh, 
to go on my way. Oh, I'm gonna actually... Oh, there was the guy that uh, prevented me from casting spells. Wow, epic fail, okay. But at this point, I should just reset this level and... Uh, I should just reset this level. It's gonna stop uh, recovering health. I should get my mitigation back up. Reduce my damage, but uh, you should check my uh, the video that I made about uh, all the spells in the game. If, I mean, if you're <laughs> if you're still watching and you're wondering what am I even doing? What is this guy even doing? All these spells. One is preventing them from healing. One is making me bounce back so I don't take damage and I get my heals back up. I'm actually taking those uh, power-ups to reduce my cooldown by one second just to speed up the, the process here. The green guys, they explode when they die, so I would take damage if I did not bounce back. And already with 50% damage mitigation, I'm taking quite a bit of damage. So I'm just trying to stay alive here and, and kill the monsters. I'm just trying to get through this raid so I can get my runite. I am actually saving up runite for, to buy the plus 10% XP. Uh, this thing here. Uh, wait. The proficient form plus ten percent XP rate. I assume that's on uh, each uh, from spell one to uh, through five. So that's gonna be f like fifty percent uh, XP rate uh, total increase. So that's gonna be nice. There's one that gives cast speed. Talking about cast speed, actually, it could be one of the on the other page. The skin. Yeah, right there. So yeah, talking about cast rate, true cadence gives 10% cast rate. So that's yeah, that's not that much, but. It depends how much uh, TM's, TM lags ER you're using. The less you're using, the better this becomes. Alright, I guess uh, let me finish the raid to complete this video. I've been doing this thing forever. I could just use death rays if I wanted to uh, be cheap there. Um, so, beside that, uh, oh yes, another advantage of having a low TM lags ER is if you're using stable runes, like I don't know, you're using a bunch of stable runes to uh, go through uh, a place in the game uh, you're stuck at. Uh, spells always cast every five seconds. This is a qual. All these the golden ones are quality fives. That's the, the highest you can get. They cast every five seconds for 15 minutes. These is every. every Every 10 seconds for 3 minutes. Every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. Every 5 seconds for 10 seconds. And the other ones are instant. So, uh, if you have a low TM lags ER, uh, these spells will do more damage. Wow, okay. So... Yeah, this guy is dying, but uh, it's taking a while. I actually don't need Ice Wall, I don't think I'm even taking damage here. Mm, I should, uh, yeah, I should keep on... Actually, I should put it here. Speed the process. For Runite. Oh no, I, I do this mistake all the time. There was actually a, a rune cache ahead and I I left the map. I left the raid. So yeah, I just missed that. Yeah, not the first time I do this. Alright guys, uh, I think I covered it. Uh, and uh, go 
back to which spell was I leveling? Yeah, I need some lightning cast. You. So all your passives, you should build them up. You can just pause, but go check my the my video about uh, the 30 spells uh, with all their uh, augmentations and passives. If you want to see the list of passives to to plan your uh, which spells you're gonna like focus on. And uh, yeah, I mean, I went pretty in depth there. I'm trying to see if I forgot anything. The buff there. Talked about. Yeah, I mean, TM lags ER. That's the biggest thing. All the rest is just bonus information I gave you guys. Well, this video is long. Uh, so yeah, here. Power left. Uh, the fourth one will give cast cast speed. CS is cast speed, and on the tower right, it's the second one. You don't see anything, but it's the second one. All right, guys, thanks for watching, Master Knox. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave me a comment uh, about what you think about this video. What TM lags are you have set? Uh, let the community know like what kind of build maybe you're running with your uh, TM lags ER. Uh, I mean, you don't have to play optimally in this game. Uh, I mean, it's it's all about having fun and uh, playing like trying new things. So yeah, don't don't force yourself to uh, min max uh, like crazy. I enjoy min maxing, but uh, it's a single player game. So there, there's no there's no competition it's a, it's a casual game but you, you can you can still play it hardcore you can play it how, however you like that's the beauty of it um, so yeah subscribe for more uh, if you want to be alerted when I release new videos just hit the bell icon and uh, that's gonna that's gonna help me and uh, well it's gonna help you with uh, you know learn new things and uh, it's gonna hopefully uh, improve improve your uh, uh, your game experience Alright guys, uh, thanks again for watching, I'm Master Nox and I'm out for now, peace.